we all know recycling helps protect this province we love so much. And now we can recycle more with the Recycle at School program. You've done an amazing job of recycling beverage containers, but it's time to do more. Recycle your mixed containers and paper and cardboard. Let's get started. Recycling bins have popped up around school, so you can recycle no matter where you are. Hanging out in the hallway, learning in the classroom, or just grabbing a snack in the lunchroom. Recycling bins are color-coded to help you sort your waste. A green bin for the refundable beverage containers you've always recycled, a red bin for other types of mixed containers, and a blue bin for paper and cardboard. Let's start with your beverage containers. Drink pouches, juice boxes, and bottles, water and pop bottles, and aluminum cans can all go in the green bin. Remember to remove any straws and bottle caps and pour any leftover liquid down the sink. Or better yet, drink it down to the last drop. Now they're ready for the green bin. Next are mixed containers. These containers may be made of paper, plastic, or even metal, such as milk cartons, yogurt cups, and tin cans. These can all be recycled in the Recycle at School program. Plastic containers that have a recycling symbol with the number one through seven all go in the red bin. But remember, remove any covers and empty leftover food into the garbage. Got milk? This one's a bit tricky. A milk carton is a non-refundable beverage container and must go in the red bin with your mixed containers. Oh, and drink all your milk first. It really is good for you. Let's face it, we go through a lot of paper at school. Computer assignments, photocopies, class notes, art projects, magazines, even cardboard food packaging. Hey, they can all go in the blue bin. Of course, some things just can't be recycled. Some types of paper have to go in the garbage, such as disposable paper cups, plates and napkins, and tissues and paper towels. These are usually contaminated. Those straws, bottle caps, and lids from your containers, they all go in the garbage too. And don't forget to put all styrofoam, glass, plastic bags, tin foil, and disposable cutlery in the garbage. If you're not sure, check out the sorting guide in your classroom for a complete list of accepted items. Recycling at school keeps waste out of our landfills and helps conserve the natural resources that provide us with the things we need every day. It's time to get into a green routine and protect this place we love so much.